Hey there, this is Marcy of Warrell. How are you all doing this evening? I am getting ready to cash stuff a little over $100. Um, let's do a quick cash count and I'll go ahead and get that total for you so you can see what we're going to do. So 20, 20, 30, 40. So 20 plus 40. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. So we are cash stuffing a total of $120. All right, so let me go ahead and get this set up. Hopefully everyone is doing well. I don't know about you, but here where we are, it has rained almost the entire day. It started like in the middle of the night, like this massive downpour at like 3 a.m. And then I got up to go to work and it was fine. And then, you know, we were at work and everything seemed okay. And the next thing you know, it was absolutely pouring everywhere. It calmed down long enough for me to go to the store and get home. And then it poured all over again. So it's just been a wet, wet day. All right. So we're going to go ahead and get started. Our first binder here. Um, is my, uh, has a lot of like savings challenges, scratch off type items, but it also has what I call my monthly savings and I just need to finish out a January. Um, so we are going to add in this last 10. We're going to start with this one and we're going to color these in really quickly. And I haven't decided just yet what I'm going to do with the money from the monthly ones. Um, okay. So that is... 10. Um, I think, keyword think, I may take these and use them towards my month ahead uh, binder. You know, like once I have filled, either filled by month and then add it over, or I may wait till I fill up like the quarter and then add it to the monthly binder. I'm monthly, um, one month ahead. I'm not certain yet, um, but that one is now $30. Um, and we'll see. I haven't just decided. The goal was uh, obviously to save, but I didn't really give much thought as to what I was going to save with, right? All right. My next one is my kids binder and the kids binder is going to get $10 for back to school. And that is back to school supplies. And we're starting this one out. Today is the 5th. And we're putting in 10. All right. And like I mentioned in my last cash stuffing, we are getting ready to move. So the kids will be going to a new school. Um, so they're going to definitely need new school supplies. And they're also going to end up needing uh, new school clothes. Well, they don't need them. I just bought them some clothes. But I want them to be able to get a couple of new pieces too. So now school supplies has 10. The next one is my holidays binder, and I am going to put 10 in the Easter basket envelope. And that one already does have some funds, not a lot, but some, right? So we're going to add 10 to Easter for a total of 12. And I don't have a little budget sheet in that one just yet because I am currently just adding money, not taking money out. Um, and so as I get closer to the time where maybe I start buying stuff, I will. Um, typically, I make my kiddos Easter baskets. So what I do is I put, you know, whatever amount of money I'm going to spend on them. Um, and then I'll go to like one store and get up a couple little knickknacks, maybe go to a different store. So things like, you know, Target Dollar Spot, maybe the Dollar Tree, uh, Five Below, those type of things. So as I spend from each store, I will adjust it um, on that budget sheet. But for now, I'm just saving. So Easter has 12. Next up is my birthday binder. And this birthday binder is immediate family. And the first one I'm going to stuff is my husband's envelope. I don't believe we have anything in there. Nope. So this is his first set of money. Now my husband's birthday is all the way in November. So we have time for certain. Um, and I usually stuff them, I try to rotate, obviously, who I stuff, you know, each time. 
but I also pay attention to whose birthday is next, right? Like whose birthday is coming up. Um, and we do have some birthdays at the beginning of the year, uh, like, you know, March, April. So those obviously get money first. And then I add as we go forth. But like um, one of my daughters is in November, my husband's in November, and one of my brothers is in November. So of course I do add to those just a little bit at a time year round. So of course his had $5 and then I am going to actually add five dollars to my son's binder or to his envelope sorry and my son's envelope currently doesn't have anything in it either and his birthday is also in november um i'm sorry no, november september sorry is in september so i am going to add just five dollars to his as well so now he has a total of five and i love his little binder i made the cute little pirate ship when I made his and let's color in one of his little things um we just put five. Oh, so his I, the slowest amount I made was 10 so I'll do it next time when I add five more yep that's fine so we're gonna put that in there all right so that is everyone for the birthday binder all right next up is my Yellowstone fan art binder and I am going to start off February, last call, um, last time we met, and I did a video, I finished up January, so we saved $35 for January, and now we're gonna start in February. And so for February, we are putting in $5. So let's take out the five. And we are starting that off. And this one, when finished um, for February when I fill up all of the little squares it'll be $27 for the month and the idea with this one was sort of like a a lower amount savings um, but I still wanted to make it fun okay I think I'll have to fold that I wanted to make it fun so I added my favorite fan art all right so that's it for Yellowstone all right, next up is my one month ahead binder. And for those of you that haven't seen this, of course, this is just where I start to save um, what it would roughly be like if I needed one month of living expenses, if something was to happen. Um, so in here, the only one that I am, no, I'm doing two actually. I am doing the cell phone and I am doing subscriptions. So let's see. So cell phone, I am doing five. And again, I'm not taking money out, so I do not need a budget sheet on this one. So five, try that just a little bit. That is for cell phone. Okay, there we go. All right, and then the other one is uh, subscriptions, and we're also going to do five for subscriptions. And these particular little like trackers I made myself. Um, and I made them, you know, kind of custom to how much, obviously, my particular bills are. But um, then I customized the amounts, too. Some with a little bit higher amounts, and then, of course, some with some very low amounts, too. All right, that's it for the One Month Ahead binder. Next is my Everyday Essentials binder, one of them. And this is the one that is mostly, like, food and shopping. So in this one, we are adding to the Lunch Treat. And lunch treat is where I um, can take myself out to lunch. Um, and I am just putting $2 in today, just two, for a total of, there is now $8 in here. Okay. back. There we go. All right. And then the next one in this binder is Starbucks, or I like to affectionately say Starbies. And Starbies is getting one dollar. I'm going to color the heart in. And on this one, again, one that I made myself, each heart is a dollar. And so that gives us one, two, and now three. So there is three dollars total in the Starbucks. Oops. Okay. 
All right, and last in this one is my thrift store um, shopping. And thrift store shopping is getting $5. Okay, so we're back up to five because I actually went shopping um, at the thrift store here um, a couple weeks ago. All right, so thrift store now has five dollars again. Okay, and that is everything from that Everyday Essentials binder. All right, my second Everyday Essentials binder, which is the non-food, kind of like non-shopping one, but things that I need to save for regularly. And this one, um, we are doing... The 25 weeks of savings and this is free um, I dropped a link uh, to Canva to this free file a couple of weeks ago on one of my other videos and I will drop it again on this particular video so that you can go and check that out if you want to um, and download it so this one I am filling in four dollars okay all right so that's four and that gives us a total of 25, 26, plus four is 30. So now we have $30 in this particular one. And the idea is that you save 650 um, at the end of the year. Okay, all right, uh, let's see if we have anything else. I believe that is good for this one, yep. All right, so that's everything for Everyday Essentials. All right, my next binder is my Disney binder and in Disney we are only filling one and that is actually plane tickets let's take the tracker out as well and for plane tickets this is the first time we've actually put something in this one we are putting in $32 and the reason we're doing 32 is on average it'll take us about $1,200 in uh, airfare and so each heart represents 32. So the goal is each time we add money to add a full heart, right? So, okay, so that is 32. I've added it to the budget sheet here and I've added it to the tracker. So we're gonna put it back in the envelope. Oops, there we go. All right, so that is everything for Disney this go round. And last, but certainly not least, is my Christmas binder. And this is um, not really extended family, but family that doesn't necessarily live in my house, right? So in here, um, we are gonna start towards the back and Haley, my niece, is going to get $5. And this is the first time we've added to her envelope. Okay, so now she has five. And if you haven't seen my video where I show how I um, how I created these, I well, not really created, but I sort of showcased and talked about them, um, do check that out. Um, it's an interesting video. All right, so then my nephew, Luke, is also going to get five. And this is also the first time I've added to his envelope. Okay, so now he also has five. All right, next is my brother Jeffrey. And Jeffrey, I've not added before, so Jeffrey is also getting five. That is Jeffrey. All right, so now I am trying to figure out what I forgot because I now have six dollars. Okay, so I think one of them was supposed to go in the kids' subscriptions, this one, but I'm trying to figure out what the other five is. Let's see. 
Oh, okay. I know what that was. All right. So this is the $1 goes to the kids and the $5 is actually going to go to my scratch off. So give me just a second. Let me pull that binder back out because I thought that I didn't set aside and I did. Let's see. Okay. So hold on. All right. So here is scratch off one and the kids is this one. So the kids it's going in the Hello Kitty tracker. It's just a random like dollar savings. There it is. And no like set amount of where this money is gonna, what it's gonna go towards, but I'm just sort of saving. Okay, so there's the dollar for Hello Kitty. And Hello Kitty now has, I believe, five. Let's see. Two, three, four, five, yep. Okay, I'll put that one back. I may end up using it like towards, I don't know, like getting them like a small toy or something. I'm not sure yet. I haven't gotten that far. Oops. Okay. So that, oop, I did not mean to do that. Sorry, guys. I hit the camera. There we go. All right. <laughs> Gotta love technology, right? Okay. So this one is my scratch offs. So in here, um, so far, I have not scratched off um, any of the new ones I have. So I have one that adds up to 20. I have one that adds up to 100, one that adds up to 60, one that doesn't have an amount, and it's like an IOU, um, and then of course I have these, and this one goes up to 60. Um, you know what? Let's see what this one is. Okay, it's super cute. It's all by itself. Let's hope it doesn't have more than five. <laughs> if it's under five, I will just add the whole five. If it's over five, um, because I don't have any more change, I just have a five. I will have to I owe myself, okay? I owe you myself. All right, so let's find something to scrape this with, okay? All right, let's 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 see what we have in here. Um, okay, I meant to bring some change, and I oh no, I did bring change. Sorry, guys, I totally forgot I brought my wallet in here. I thought I forgot it, but I did not. Okay, so let's see. We have a quarter. Okay, and I don't usually carry change, but I just happen to have a little bit in my wallet because I haven't moved it yet. All right, so let's see what this one has. Oh, look at that. It's $2. Perfect. Perfect. Only $2. So then I can put my five and I don't have to worry about not about owing myself. Awesome. Okay, so in that one, I just have an extra $5. And later on, I'll figure out where I want to put that $5 because I'll probably add it to something else, right? Awesome. Okay, so that is that scratch off put the quarter back and I'll add that to my little change thing later. All right. So that was my entire $120 that I stuffed. Um, I did not stuff Halloween today. I did not stuff the rest of Christmas. Um, and I did not stuff some of the birthdays and long term. I think every other binder I managed to at least add a little something to. So I hope this was fun for you. It helps keep me motivated and accountable when I'm able to share it with you. Um, if you have any questions about cash stuffing in general or any of the things you see me use, uh, do feel free to message me. I'm happy to help, happy to answer questions. Thank you so much again for watching and have an amazing day. Bye-bye.